how to convert inches to feet and inches in Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this advanced Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can convert this to, let's say, 6 feet 0 inch. You can convert this into this. Let's get started. <laughs> Take a look at this worksheet. In column A, we have inches. Some of them has the inches sign and some of them don't. So we want to convert them to feet and inches. Okay. First thing we need to do is to remove all the inch sign and make them look like the number. So for that, we are going to use the substitute function. Double click here. Select the text from where we want to remove the inch sign. Our old text will be double quotation twice. Okay. And our new text will be nothing. That means if I write here double quotation, it will remove everything. If I press enter and if I drag it, now we have our inches same exactly from here to here, but without the inch sign. Now, if we divide this by 12, we get our fit, right? And now there are some problem. We have decimals, so we don't want that. So if I add the integer formula with this, that will step down this decimal and give us the actual number, okay, without decimal. So let's write here INT and you can see it rounds a number down to the nearest integer, okay. I'm going to double click here and just close parenthesis. So now you can see we have our fit, okay. And now how you can get the inches from this. So again, we need the substitute function that I want to get from here. Again, right here equal to. Okay, we copied the substitute function part from this formula. But now I'm working on the inches part. Okay, so here if I enclosed it with the mod function, you can see it says returns the remainder after a number is divided by a divisor. Okay, so if I double click here, this is our mod function and here this substitute function this total part is our number because we are extracting number from cell a3 without the inches sign okay now if i add a comma and it is asking for the divisor which is 12 in our case because we are converting from inches to feet here okay writing here 12 now if i press enter it should work okay now here after we divide it by 12 which we have here six feet it doesn't have anything left okay so it's showing us zero now here again after seven feet we don't have anything else but here after six feet we have four so here we have our feet and here we have our inches okay so let me just copy it okay now we need to do is formatting so this is our first part i'm going to add and ampersand and then i'm going to add the fit symbol here okay with an apostrophe and then a space and quotation closed i'm going to add another and and we are going to write the formula we just copied okay so here this is the first part with the and or with the ampersand i'm going to add the fit symbol here with an space and then we have our inch part here and now i want to add the inch symbol again for that another ampersand and we need four condition okay now if i press enter it should work yeah it's working now if i double click here you can see we have successfully converted inches to feet and inches 72 inches equal to six feet 84 inches equal to seven feet 76 inch equal to six feet four inch so this is how you convert inch to feet and inch so if i click here and click on the formula tab and if i evaluate formula this will give us the slow motion view of how this formula is working now take a closer look in a5 which is underlined here if i click evaluate a5 had this 76 in text format okay this is the value now we are going to calculate the substitute function if i calculate evaluate it has given us 76 in text format but without the double quotation and divided by 12 
okay if i click here again it has given me 6.33333 and if i click here it will work with the integer function if i click here it has stepped down to the nearest integer which is six feet that is what we needed now it will add the feet symbol which is an apostrophe if i click here six feet is ready now we are working on the inch part again a5 equal to 72 substitute function will work now it has calculated the substitute function and given us 76 and if i click here it has given us 4 and if i click again you can see 6 feet 4 inch and it's going to add the inch symbol now and here is our value 6 feet 4 inch now this is how you can convert inches to feet and inches and in the next tutorial i will show you how you can convert this to this that means six feet four inch to 76 inches thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial if you can support the channel through patreon and don't forget to subscribe and if you need the formula please check the video description thank you thanks for watching